Hello everyone, welcome back to the Binding Wise Cartworth. So, after a very unlikely run in Greed Mode last time, we're going to play as Eve today, because I want to play as Eve. Eve still needs to do boss rush, but she now starts off with the Razor Blade because we unlocked it in Greed Mode. So let's get going. Here's the seed, it's Curse of the Labyrinth, so unfortunately we can't go into the Curse Room immediately like I was about to do. Eve starts off with lower health compared to most other characters. And who cares what I want or desire. So we're not going to get a room. All we need to do is boss rush with Eve. That's all she needs to complete. So yeah. But now that Horror Babylon is active, she's got, right, she's got more damage, faster speed. She has a 1.0 multiplier as opposed to her normal 0.75. And it's good. Oh yeah, we should look at this card. Some doors require a blessing, carry them with you. That would be the keys? As in the key pieces? The only good thing about a uh, curse X a a XL this early on is that you don't need keys to access both item rooms, which are right here. I probably should have taken Sister Maggie, but I just took it just in case it shows up in the devil room. Which it is want to do. It's not too bad anyway. Lazarus is rags. Respawns me as Lazarus. You know, I think I'll pass. I, I don't really like playing as Lazarus. Like, most days of the week. Although, he did get me dark, boy. So maybe I shouldn't give him too much crap. Maybe I shouldn't give him too much crap. Yeah. So we are in a hurry. We do need to get a good run started in order to make it in a hurry. But there is time. There is time. Whoa. Okay, so this will drop a black heart whenever we take damage. So we might as well go to the crush room now. Well, when we get to half a heart, which is why I want to go. I need to go really quick though. So, like... Get that. Go in now. This was so not worth. The razor blade, we damage ourselves for a full red heart to do more damage for the room. I wasn't fast enough. That's fine. That wasn't really going anywhere special. So, new seed, better seed. Let's hopefully get something better. I wasn't happy with that run. By the way, the only reason our tears are red is because of the razor blade. For some reason, that, that makes your tears red automatically. The more you know. So, we're going to be more careful this time. Honestly, I think it was because I hesitated. If I hadn't hesitated, I might have gotten away with it. But I'm so bad with those doorways that there was a, I wasn't sure if I would have been able to get in and out quick enough. I'm sorry, can you guys like stop spotting stuff? It's really, really irritating. And of course, now you're leaving me to deal with your nasty little spawns. Seriously, mate. Stop it. I always want to get the dead bird out just to deal with this. Alright, come on. Got it. Alright, keep going. This room is taking forever! Yeah, dead bird, can you please just get this over with? I am sick and tired of this room. Thank you. I thought I was far enough away from that. That's fine, we can get our health back if we need to. We can even find out what the layout of the floor is. Yeah, this is worth it. 
I will take damage otherwise. So we might as well go into the secret room because we know where it is. It's right here. Let's take a key. Blow you up. Because I'm not a nice person in this game. Got tons of money though, that's early on, so we can get an arcade next floor. You know, this will be worth it. We'll do more damage and also dead bird. That was very close. Like, if that tier had hit us, we would be dead. Alright, we'll use the Book of Secrets so we can see secrets. It'll either show us the map layout, it'll show us the secret rooms, or which direction things are. So in other words, treasure map, compass, or blue map. And I would rather have this on the razor blade. I mean, yes, it's good because it means you can always get back to Horror Babylon state, but... There was a reroll machine in there. If I had an extra bomb or a lot more money, I would reroll the razor blade. I could still reroll it. Possibility of getting another good item is too tempting. I should go back and get it. Right, so let's not pick up that half heart. Just get all the books out of the pool. Alright, five more bombs. Perfect. So what I will do is I'll take the battery so I can get the map layout on the next floor, assuming no curses, which there probably will be. My coin poop luck is very strong today, I don't know why. I'm not complaining, just it's a very odd observation to make, or have to make. We're doing such good damage though. Magician, homing tears for a room. Let- sorry, didn't mean to hit the mic. Let's just go in here. And get an early restock or something, that'd be nice. Alright, so if I put the bomb here, it should get everything. Yes, man. So, early restock. So, one of a couple of drops. We'll get the soul heart to protect ourselves. I would like the compass, but I'm not going to bomb that much. I should make sure I can get an arcade next door. I'm really making use of this bank. Alright, let's go. We have dilly dallied too much. We have a boss rush to make. That should do it. Have a bomb and a key. An early restock though, that's, that's good. We can do all sorts of stuff for that. It's kind of sad not to be able to pick up the compass, but there's just no way we would get enough money. But with restock, we could always find it later. So we'll take a ball of bandages. Orbital protection. Does to contact damage whenever it comes in contact with enemies. I think it's like 7 or something. Burning basement. What's the layout? Check it out. Double key room. Don't lose... I can't really afford to lose the whole soul heart. Not yet. Not ever. Small, I was going to say small intestine, but no, it's an umbilical cord. Yeah, that was worth. Anyway, we'll pop open that chest as soon as the room is clear. Look at the little baby headless thing! They're so cute. I must squish it. Okay. 
We're down on profits. I could get both bot uh, things in here, although I'd have to bomb for the other key, so I'm not gonna. Uh, except I can now. Perfroll, a reroll rune, perfect. We can get an early blank card. Vision, yeah, show us where all the secret rooms are. Except I can't really access any of them. But we know where they are. Uh, sorry, where is my arcade? Shouldn't I have one? I'm pretty sure five cents is supposed to guarantee an arcade. You're not, you're not upholding your end of the bargain game. Tractor beam's supposed to be good, especially if you have like a multi-shot, so I'll take it. I don't know, man. I'll go back for the secret room. Hopefully it'll be good. I'm gonna go down here just to make sure I actually get it. Because I always seem to misplace the bombs. Even with extended blast radius. I was kind of hoping for more money. I'm not lying. Let's go in here. Can't make use of that. But it's fine. We should still get the devil room. There's a lot of hell flying around. I could go in and play him to my heart's content. But that's a lot of back and forth that I really don't have time for. Alright, let's just go. Monstro. Remember, whenever I can, just get some good damage with the Cuban meat. Ah, don't die. We should just still get it though. Come on. Nice. Alright, so HP up. That's fine. This is not fine. If we get Krampus's head, I will re-roll it. But we are way behind for boss rush! Okay. We roll. Dark bum, perfect. We can get back into horror Babylon state now, so. I wanna hurt myself in the fire that I can control. Alright, let's get going. Dark bum. We don't really have a lot of time to do this, cause we're probably not gonna make boss rush at this rate. So you need to hurry up. Fuck it. It's fine, we did it. Alright, let's go. No time to lose, no time to explain. Get going. Curse the loss. I can't see the map even if I use it. So no point in using it. Take the key. I would really kill for some teleport runes so or teleports. The keys are real though. Well, there's that. Maybe if I keep going to the end of a path, I should get to somewhere. I don't know. I'm not that confident, to be perfectly honest. Because I already know we're not making boss rush. And, you know, when I set my mind to something and I can't do it, it makes me feel really bad about my life. So I don't really have time to shoot poops, unfortunately. Blank card. See, now I'm really upset about the fact that I had to... Now I want that! I want everything. So if I get another perfro, I can reroll stuff. Which would make for a more interesting run than just, you know. F 
finding the boss rush, which I'm not likely to do because I'm well behind. We'll see. I can have as many magicians as I want, though. Can't find the item room. I mean, I can if I'm willing to look, but I hate this curse so much that I'm not willing to. Might as well have homing tears for the room. So if we do get a room after this, it's going to be an angel room. I don't think homing tears actually works with this. Nah, they just kind of stuck in place. Having homing tears and tractor beam doesn't really do much for us. Yep, we are stuck on angel rooms. We could maybe do boss rush. We've, I mean, Mega Satan. So extra protection goes around us faster. Shall we? I don't really want angel rooms. That's the thing. I mean, I could get like, uh, I could get. Sacred Heart, but chances of me getting that are slim. So let's just take these guys out real quick. Done. You know me, I would rather have an interesting run than a min maxi one. Yeah, this is worth it. More orbital protection. We'll only get one of them, but orbital protection is still good. Like, it protects us from projectiles and such. We'd play you, but I can't access you. Actually, I can't. I, I wouldn't play you anyway. So, most of our orbitals will do damage. So, the Guardian Angel and the Ball of Bandages. It's good. For some reason, I expected the spikes to go. See if it's greed? It's not greed. It's never greed. Luckily, I don't need to buy any more of those. Like, I don't need to get the trinket, the trinket anymore because I've unlocked the Lost. Should really play the Lost at some point, but I know for a fact I'm not ready. There you go, Dark Bum. Eat to your heart's content. Good boy. I wish my tears rate was better. I really do. Oh wait, there's some um, stuff I can get. Let's get some more money because we do have restock. I don't know, I do need a teleport cord in order to maximise this, or I need to make hush, which isn't impossible, just unlikely, because I need a run good enough to do hush. Keys though, keys are not a problem. Alright, let's keep going. We got it. Come pop up. Hi, right, are you the secret room? As in the top secret room? You're not. It doesn't matter. Hurdy gurdy. Even though I know it's useless, I'm still doing it. So what I could do is just get in close and let my orbitals do damage. But I'm kind of terrible at getting in close in case you haven't noticed. I mean, I got some, but not a lot. I'll wait. Alright, that is a flat damage up. The reason I was going to wait is because if there was like a lot of opportunities to trade away health, I would have taken them and then gone back to full heart. So, I'm going to say no. Because I want to maintain Horror Babylon state. 
Crest in the maze, so we're gonna teleport all over the place. That's fine. This might be worth. N no, we're we are on a time limit. Still not a good run, but it is one that I could survive. I feel confident in that. My fingers have sufficiently woken up, so you know. Gotcha. Don't want the magnet. Because that's what it is. It's a magnet. Dark bomb. You can't fight. You can't see over there. That's fine. We could still do boss rush, but it's super, super unlikely. Like, we would have to start skipping rooms. And we're not powerful enough to skip. I don't really want your drop, even if I get it. Thanks, Dark Bum. Let's go. Got him. Almost, almost. There you go. This is a bad room. That was very close. Alright, come on, where's the boss room? Teleport me. No. Alright, careful, the orbitals will explode in my face. Come on, pop down. Thank you. Well, luckily for you, this is exactly the room I wanted to go to. So you lose, video game. Yeah, that would be worth. If I find a shop. Got plenty of money, we just we're not gonna make boss rush, unfortunately. Which is all I really need to do with Eve. I'm starting to think I shouldn't have bought the blank card. Like I've got I just because I had a pair for rune doesn't mean I'm gonna get another one, you know? Should be fine. Epiphora, so the longer we look in a single direction, the more eh, more tears we start firing. Don't want that. Yes, we have. That's the stopwatch. That was also dumb. Take it. I like the stopwatch. Basically, when we take damage, we'll start. We'll slow down all tears. Where's the boss? There he is. Dark Bomb, get that. Thanks. Or what is he good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Come on, more. Just stop your charging. Might get another ball of bandages. Yep, see, everything is slowed down. We'll get that next uh, next floor. But now our bandage, a uh, ball of bandages shoots with us. So unless we get teleported to the boss right away, we're not going to make boss rush. And that sucks. Even if we did get teleported right away, we still wouldn't make it. So we might as well just take our time this floor, you know, min-max everything. Like see this? This is definitely a min-max. And it's Crystal the Blind anyway. I wouldn't have taken that if I could see. Lucky Penny! Cool! So Abel will mirror, uh, mirror our tears. He doesn't do our damage, which would make him better. Because he's generally bad. 
Ooh, you picked a bad place to spawn. Deception. All right, taking our time. We'll get plenty of bombs. Or not. I was kind of expecting more drops. Not gonna lie. I do love how they run and uh, run there. By the way, uh, Eve's bird, uh, the dead uh, Eve's bird foot causes a uh, dead bird to randomly spawn for us, and you know it does extra damage. It's a, it's a good guy. I like him. He seems to be smarter than the actual dead bird, but maybe I'm just saying that because he actually goes out and you know does damage without you having to lead him. Okay, I should have come in here with a bomb. Like this one. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Okay. I can work with this. The bombs are real. So the question is, would I fight Hush if given the opportunity? And I'm not sure. <laughs> okay then. Bumbo! Bumbo wants coin! So now I have a D an actual D6, which means it's time to party. But we can't really use it this floor because I can't see it items. Unless I got, say, black candle in the shop. Like the shop right now. Come on, game. You know you wanna. You know you wanna give me black candle. You won't let me make boss rush, but you'll let me make this into a fun run. Mind you, we could get the key right now. Oh, this is an empty room. Have to think about it. Well, let's spend a few hearts, see what we get. It would be an angel room, that's the only sucky part. I'm blessed. That sucks. I wouldn't have taken Bumble if I'd known he was there. Thanks, bum friend. Uh, Alright, what is it? Seraphim. Okay, I would have re-rolled him if I had the chance. But another familiar that shoots along with us. He's nice. I like him. <laughs> Hold off. Remember, I just want to do something fun with my tears. Got it. Seven cents, ventricle razor. Fifteen cents, fanny pack. So we take damage, we start getting stuff. Nope. Now we gotta beat Bumble. Pick it up. You have enough money. Why am I not picking that up? Give. Give. You you are seeing this. I have enough money, right? Like. Oh wait, I have a reroll. I do that. Treasure map. Full visible map. Okay. Well, this is going to be an exercise in futility if we keep this up. Such a shame. 
Paralysis. Top secret run? I mean secret run. There's a lot of places it could be. And I have wasted a bunch of soul hearts, I am aware. So fun fact, the foot doesn't damage you after it's come down. Which means if you have orbitals, you could just walk straight into it at that point. And get extra damage. That was very close. Take this. Take the Polaroid because I'd rather go to the chest any day of the week. And we're gonna go full in. Contract from below, so double drops. Brother Bobby. I wouldn't have taken him if I ha if I'd known. Ugh. But we have a heart. I'm gonna say the boss is up this way. Rule of thumb being what would cause me the most pain and agony. I don't really need money. I just don't want Bumble to have it. Because I don't like Bumble. I wouldn't have taken him. So I need to keep my eyes peeled for tinted rocks, which I can't really open because I don't have a lot of chess. Hey, I don't have a lot of bombs. Did I say a lot of chess? No, Bumbo. You can't have the money. Not yet. Maybe later. I didn't think the boss was this way, so why did I come this way? Oh well, I'm here now. I should have taken the compass in the first place. I shouldn't have taken restock. But it's a more fun item. Like, if that makes sense. Oh, I wanted- I, I need hearts, not spiders. There's a tinted rock that I can't get. Nope. Why do the bums always look so sad? I knew this wasn't going to be at either, so where's the next location? To the right. Maybe we could get an accessible tinted rock, don't you think? We do need keys for the uh, for the chest. All right. Don't like sis. They are annoying and evil. This is a library. We could get something good at a library, or we could reroll a bunch and turn it into a double item room. But it's a little bit late for that. So we can have a look. Okay. So this will give us a horseman as well as a nor as a heart. D6, we will both of these. That's a damage up when we use it. That's it spawns bombs. That might be worth coming back. I mean, I think I've gotten a fair amount of the books, but honestly, I don't I think it would just take too long. Oh right, not the horseman I was expecting. Well, at least I won't have to pass up on a ball of bandages. I'll just pass up on a flight that I don't really want. Not gonna make Kush either. La 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 la. No devil room, are you kidding me? Okay then, fine. I don't want your devil room. I don't need your devil room. Alright, Curse of the Unknown, can't see my health. Blow this up. Take the heart. I'd play this for a good trinket. Or a soul heart. 
Uh, down here. Child safety lead would cause the familiars to hang out closer to me. I have a lot of familiars. Stopwatch man, MVP. Stopwatch when we take damage causes all tears and it causes all enemies in the entire room as a whole to slow down. Now, unfortunately, I was going to take damage because I had no way of shooting diagonally. There we go. So we could die at any minute because I haven't seen our health in a while. But if you wanna help me out, Dark Bum, thanks. Clinging the life here. This isn't the boss room? Are you kidding? I mean, obviously you're not, but please be kidding. I, I want the boss room to be over here. Dark Bum, go. Don't you see the heart? Okay, probably on the other side then. This is a big, well, not a big floor, but it's annoying. I don't like searching. And that was a bad way to take damage. I thought I was going to avoid that. So endless nameless causes any use item that we have, or if we use like a card or something, there's a chance it will respawn. Dark bomb, go! We'd love to go in there, but can't. Not unless this is the secret room. Oh my god. I don't even have a second bomb anyway, but I'm, I'm just happy I found that. Greed! It's always greed! Bumbo, go! And I can go in here now. Perfect. Bumbo, you might as well. Like, don't, don't leave it hanging. Get it, get it. Good boy. That was really dumb damage that I had no need to take. Need to be careful. I think I still have red hearts. Well, I think I still have a soul heart. But I shouldn't actually- I don't need to move actually because these orbitals will basically protect me. Now I need to move. Nicely timed devil room. Unfortunately I can't really take any- oh well, I could. The thing is it'll bounce me. Or it'll kill me. I'd forgotten how much health I had. My plan was to get that and then re-roll it and see if I could maybe get Guppy. But that's my fault. I am aware of it. Anyway, I'm going to call for this episode of The Binding of Isaac, guys, because I really need to go get lunch at the time of recording. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please let me know by liking or commenting on the video. And subscribe if you haven't already to see more. Till next time, I've been Wembrush Sale. This has been The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to do. Bye!